Uh, so since the pandemic, we're seeing an increase uh, in phishing scams, both email and text messaging, uh, aimed at stealing users' credentials and banking information. Uh, because it's COVID-19 related, we're seeing a lot of phishing attempts involving uh, fake uh, COVID remote access logins for businesses. We're seeing a lot of fake employment insurance uh, payment transfers. A lot of people are getting uh, CERB notices sent to their text messages to click on some links. Uh, these are all aimed at stealing your financial information. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of other fraudulent COVID related services requests, um, trying to sell fake uh, test kits, masks, hand sanitizer. Uh, since so many people are staying at home right now, we're seeing a lot of sign on to verify scams involving home streaming internet services. Uh, we're also even seeing elaborate scams involving uh, people holding fraudulent on online job interviews and trainings uh, just to steal your personal information. Uh, the advice that we give to the public would be to verify why you're giving the information and, and who's actually asking. Uh, if you didn't initiate the contact and you don't know who it is, uh, you can double check. It really comes down to due diligence. If anyone's asking for your credentials, make sure the site or the person is legitimate. You can check the return address. Um, if it's a streaming company or, uh, or an internet company that, uh, that's telling you that they're dropping your service for non-payment, just reach out and call them directly. Uh, never provide your payment, credit card, username, or any information online unless you know who you're dealing with. Uh, if you get a request from a loved one to send money, especially during these times, uh, reach out and call them first to make sure that they've actually made the request. Uh, if you spend a little extra time looking closely at all the suspicious emails and text messages, a lot of these you'll be able to see that they're actually fraudulent. A uh, quick uh, uh, thing to remember is that no police agency, Government of Canada, Ontario, or Toronto Police will ever uh, ask you to use uh, Bitcoin. If you ever see a text message or an email involving uh, Bitcoin linked to any of the government agencies, you know for sure it's, it's a scam. Uh, and further, that, a lot of these emails have uh, language like you'll be arrested if you don't uh, pay this fine or if you don't uh, complete this transaction. And we can guarantee that uh, the CRA is not going to send out police officers to your door uh, if you don't uh, pay these in a timely manner. If you've been victimized, in the case of an attempted fraud, like an extortion-related email, you can contact the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre and report it there. In the event that the attempted fraud is here within Toronto, you can report it through the Toronto Police online reporting portal, as long as you meet certain criteria. If you have any doubts or are, aren't able to report online, just call the Toronto Police directly. In general, just use your, your gut feeling on it. If it's good, too good to be true, then likely it isn't true. Uh, just check, use due diligence, and make sure that you're, you're not caught up in it.